What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver on day number 11 of our breeding project. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on how the isolates are doing. And um, we've got our first colony of the Black Pearl King Oyster. So that's the first isolate 11 days in. Um, we still got a couple clean plates of that. So I'm hoping to get more than one isolate. Um, otherwise, you're not gonna have much luck. But um, the chestnuts, I got maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, about six isolates from one of the chestnut plates. And these are starting to take off. You can see um, chestnuts are a little bit slower growers. So these ones will probably take about a week to grow out. And then I've got lots of pink oysters. So I'll flip the camera, go through these isolates. Um, all right, so here are all of my pink oyster isolates. You can see the different traits in each one. So this has more of like a filamentous, cottony look. Really healthy mycelium there. And then as I go through, you can see this one is a lot more dense. Um, it's got you know more uniform growth not really stretching for nutrients here's another isolate here and each of these has their own differences in genetics and then we're going to systematically combine all of these up oh, there's a little bacteria in this one so i'll set this aside so ideally you want clean colonies no bacterial growth that's a good selector as if it's resistant to bacteria but it could have just been my fault um, so i've got a couple plates that are actually contaminants so this one was a penicillium mold that i accidentally captured and then um, some yeast from the streak plate and then this one is interesting because it looks like the penicillium got early in the streak, but then as I streaked it out, it isolated for the mycelium on this end. So I can go ahead and take this isolate and move it onto a new plate. But here are the rest of the pink oyster isolates. So as you can tell from about 40 petri dishes initially that's a good streak plate there's another good streak plate isolate that one's got some bacteria so like i was saying out of about 40 plates and originally i've got two four six eight ten about 15 isolates that are clean for pink oyster and then probably another three that I can clean up and then from chestnuts I got about eight isolates out of probably 12 plates and then the lion's mane I haven't found any clean ones yet the black pearl has one isolate and the piapino we're still waiting on all right guys, so I'm about to head out to the markets and I'm just giving these guys another week or so to fully colonize before I introduce the haploids to each other, which is a pretty extensive process. I'll probably make a longer video for that. But as you can see, breeding takes a lot of work and time, but this is the most precise way that I can do, um, that I can think of it, I guess. So let me know your comments and Keep following along. Much love.